you know what I would love to know from you? So we have these composers, Webern, you have 12 tone, and Schoenberg okay. and Baer to some degree. When else in the 20th century have artists turned their back on the audience, so to speak, and created an enormous wave of change, for better or for worse, that affects the nature of the uh, art itself? Okay, I think there are two parallel examples. One is in the visual arts. There is a kind of attempt to upend the conceits about what is art and what is beauty yeah. among the average person. The other is architecture. And now, when line. audiences came along in both architecture and in art, of course, and decided, yes, yes, we accept this, why not music? People are spending a fortune to buy something which the ordinary citizen thinks is junk. You know? Sorry. Something which you have to talk yourself into thinking it's art, right? And they buy houses and commission houses mm -hmm. which, you know, are not beautiful Palladian villas. But in music, they walk away. So my explanation is that the aspect of musical literacy has changed. In the 19th century, literate people became sort of literate in music. Mm -hmm. So they were amateur composers. The writer Arthur Schnitzler composed for fun. People dabbled in music. So that literacy of music stopped with the advent of recording and radio mm -hmm. and the gramophone. Now, to get sound in our lives, we just push a button. So that was one reason. The second is, you know, you can walk away from a work of art. Yes. You know, we force these people to yes. sit in the hall right. for a very long time. Mm -hmm. It's a musical argument. If you right. can't follow the musical argument, yes. get That's antsy. Right. That's and right. these composers made it very hard for them to follow the musical mm -hmm. argument. If we're performing Webern, yeah. how do you tell an audience to hear Webern? But Felix Gallimere taught me this. He was a Viennese of the Gallimere Quartet and did premieres of Webern and Berg. And he said when he came to America, he had the hardest time explaining to Americans that this is just music. Think of it like Schubert. Think of it like Mozart. The Americans began to look at it like mathematics. He said it's not mathematics, it's expressive music. Right. So think of it as making this expression in a more astringent, wistful way in which the silence is a constituent part mm. of the sound. The way to give it to listeners is say, this is music where you have to be participant. You can't lay back and someone's going to feed you like a baby. Right, right, right. This you have to actually reach out and take the apple and put it to oh, your mouth. Oh, that's wonderful.